So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you run this, you're gonna type in msdt.exe space full slash ID space power diagnostic. Click on enter. And then you wanna run this. So click on next. And you wanna wait for this to load. You wanna follow all the steps that come up and then hopefully it'll fix your problem. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it. And then click on yes. And now once you're in here, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you wanna expand HK local machine. And then you wanna expand software. And then you wanna expand Microsoft. And then you want to expand Windows. Scroll down and expand Windows. Make this a little bit bigger. And now you want to expand current version. And now you want to expand policies. So scroll down and expand policies. And then you want to click on Explorer. And then all this will appear on the right side. And now once you're on here, you want to look for the application that's called No Close. So for me, I don't have it, but you might have it on yours. But if you don't have it, then you want to right click on any blank space and then click on New and then click on DY32 with value. And you want to type in No Close. So you're going to name this as No Close and then click on Enter. Make sure they use the same capitals and lower case as I did. And now once you've made this, you're going to double click on no close. Make sure that the value data says zero on it. So make the value data zero and then click on OK. And now once you've done that, now for the next step, you're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, this will also be down below in the description. You can copy and paste if you want to. You're going to type in task kill space full slash im space explorer dot exe space full slash f click on enter and now you want to type in explorer dot exe click on enter and now your screen is going to return back to normal and then you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed